Minister of Works and Transport Abraham Biandala, State Minister for Works John Biabagambe and other senior minister officials appeared before the Parliamentary Committee of Physical Infrastructure to present the ministerial policy statement for 2014-2015 financial year. But the committee soon got consumed with the controversial railways construction contract. Junior Minister Biaba Gambi has been in the eye of the storm for allegedly cancelling a memorandum of understanding with a Chinese farm to build a new railway line in eastern Mr. Uganda. A committee member tabled documents showing that the minister illegally cancelled the deal awarded to China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation, but the High Court later overturned his decision. The MPs warned that the decision could see taxpayers losing billions of shillings in court awards. And the cost of compensation of these feasibility studies, in case the contract is cancelled, will cost Ugandan taxpayers 160 billion shillings. But how many roads are those? How much money, the minister will tell me? How much money does my catastrophe road need? All the documents that Honorable Otto has presented, I don't deny them. And I will be part of the documents I will submit. The lawmakers claimed that Biabagambi was hell-bent on awarding the contract to another company, China Harbor Engineering Corporation, despite warnings from the Attorney General and the Solicitor General to the contrary. The executive, you have been accused of being corrupt, you have been accused of that, there have been evidences, and you have got to tell us, are you here to exploit the poor, or are you here to serve the poor? Mr. Chairman, this is so serious. But the minister stood his ground, saying he did no wrong and that he has documents to prove that he did not violate any proceedings and never cancelled any contract. So it is not out of the blue moon, a small minister like John Yabagan, that I'm defying the Attorney General. Hold on, Otto. I would rather rot in jail than committing suicide. Some legislators are now pushing for Minister Biaba Gambi's censure if he doesn't present documents exonerating himself by Thursday. I am here not by accident, but I'm keenly looking at the events where now we are moving on on these specific matters. And I promise this to the people of Uganda that I will not commit suicide. I will not commit this country to any theft or what. Sources say powerful lobbies, some in government, could be behind it. the tough war between the two Chinese companies. China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation says it spent time and money doing feasibility studies on the Eastern Road. More research all in TV at Parliament.